Hello everybody, this is my indoor garden. I have soybeans, uh, well, yeah, they're soybeans, but they're not the typical in the field. Well, I guess I could say they are, but the thing is, hybrids, if you grow hybrids and save the seeds, they don't go true from seed. So, it's good, because this is an heirloom variety, not a hybrid. And it's got, this heirloom variety has gotten a good quality that I don't know what it is, but these are beans. This one's about a week older than the rest of them. <laughs> Plant of these about a week later than this still. Let me dig it up. Just a second here. I'm trying to dig it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a dead. Never mind, it's a dead. Okay. It's been dead like halfway through when it came up. But that still leaves one, two, three other plants. <clears throat> and I can always plant another seed. I have like 20. I have like 100 I saved from the fields. And I can still save some. You got new set of leaves coming up. There's a set of, this see this thing right here that's kind of sticking out. That's a new set of leaves already forming before the seed leaves open. Okay, we got a strawberry plant and a tomato seedling. They give you a better close up of this. Um, it doesn't have a seed leaf because it started dying because I took it outside and I didn't realize it would be a shock to the plant. And then some of the one of the seed leaves started to die. And I was afraid the plant would die, so what they did was they took it in. Then we have a Swiss chard. Now let me get it. Darn it, I can't focus. Swiss chard. There are three plants in here. But this plant, these things are so root bound. One, it's a white one. Two is yellow and three is the red. Okay, just a second here. Mm. Okay, take this out of the pot. Okay. Take this out of the pot. This is all roots. It's all roots. And I'm going to have to transplant it. Because it runs out of water so easily. And I have to water like every two hours. And when I'm gone from school, for school it dies. <laughs> Halfway. Because all the roots are soaking up the water. It's just not necessarily a bad thing, it's just that there's too many roots in one area. And this is a glow light. This isn't, you know, a light you turn on in the kitchen. It says plant, grow, and show. That's what it says on the bulb. Ouch! Burns. It's hot. And I'm pretty sure this garlic doesn't like it. It just gonna you know, lift up. This garlic's been planted for four days now. Look at this. It's garlic roots. Roots. I don't wanna dig up the other one now. Oh, I'm breaking something right. Some roots. And the third one, this one right here, what used to be ahead of all of the rest, but not anymore. Third one, pop. It's ahead of the rest of them. Pop. It's garlic. Oh, it's garlic. And, okay. Let me get the light on this. This, oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. Mm. Oh, there we go. This down here. These are wild strawberries that I planted in this orange tree. You see, they don't get that much sun. You know, I'm growing in an orange tree, and this orange tree is huge. Uh, 
me. <laughs> Too cool to grow this thing. The minimum temperature an orange tree wants is about 50. And it's about 30 out there. <clears throat> it's night time. I have a digital camera. It's not that bad. It's a Kodak. It's a Kodak. Something. It doesn't say. No, oh, that's a D. No. This is a. Okay, this is a double A battery. Okay, whatever. Well, this is enough for this update. And this is just a mystery tomato plant. Ye either yellow pear, sun gold, or sweet 100. And sweet 100 is a bad, tastes bad, and are hybrids, so I don't want it to be a sweet 100. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye.